Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and today I'm going to show you how I set up flapperons. And that is a funny word, but how I set up flapperons on uh, an airplane. And uh, in case you don't know, flapperons are like a mixture of ailerons and flaps. So flaps are used to slow you down and you can fly more slowly like on landing. Um, but it's it, you can save weight and some complexity if you don't have another, you know, set of control surfaces uh, as just the flaps alone. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our radio to mix the uh, the ailerons as flaps. And it's kind of confusing. I have been confused several times just trying to get ready for this video to explain how to do it. I think this will help you. First of all, we're going to use the FlySky FSI6X transmitter. This should work for the FSI6. You're just going to need to do things a little bit differently because I'm going to use an extra channel on here. We are using the FlySky FSI A6B receiver. And this is actually the wall wing. You might notice I have a video on this. It's a fantastic video. Go check it out. Um, because I don't have any uh, actual like four channel uh, regular airplanes right now. So these are technically elevons, but just forget about that. Just imagine that that right now these are like ailerons. I know there's a lot of rons going on around here. Now, the first thing you want to do, you want to bind your transmitter uh, to your receiver. Insert the bind plug that probably came with your receiver. Bind port, the one at the very end that says B slash VCC. And then I'm going to connect a battery to the ESC. Make sure you take your propeller off. Get my transmitter here. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to put the switches up. I'm going to press and hold OK to go into the system setup here. I'm going to select a new model. I'm going to press and hold cancel to select it. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to turn it back off. And then now I'm going to turn it. I'm going to hold down the bind button here and turn this on. It says binding OK. And we get some beep, beep, beeps. And that's what we want. We bound it, bounded it, did it. So we'll take out the binding plug, disconnect the uh, battery here. Um, what you want to do is you want to plug, want to plug one servo into channel one, right here, and then you're going to want to plug the other servo into. You can use different channels, but I'm going to use channel five for this example right here. So you want to use channel one and channel five for your servos, your aileron servos. And you are going to need two servos plugged into different channels as opposed to using something like this Y connector here that, that lets you run both of these. Now, this may be a little bit different depending on how your servos are placed on your wings. So like these these servos, they're both, both of the, the gear part, the arm, is pointing outward away from the body. So that's how I have mine set up. So you might need to do some servo reversing, um, but for the most part, this should be the same. We've got our battery connected here, and now what we're going to do in our new model here, we're gonna go in here, we're going to press and hold OK to get into the menu. We're gonna to go to System Setup, and this is just in case you don't already have this turned on, you're gonna turn on your aux switches, and it actually wants me to turn off my receiver, so I'm going to unplug the battery here, and then I'm going to get back in here, press OK. I have all of these turned on, but you can turn them on or off by pressing the up and down switch. Once you change it, be sure to press and hold cancel to save it. And then we're going to go back to the menu here. We're going to go into the functions setup menu. And then what we're going to do, first thing we're going to go into the reverse. And what you want to do, if, if you have a setup just like mine, what you want to do is go into here and reverse channel one. And that's going to be your servo that is in the channel one port. And the reason why I'm reversing that, because let me show you. What you want to do first is make sure that your channel one servo, that it's moving your aileron in the correct direction for normal aileron movement. So what I mean is if I want to roll to the left, it should actually, this aileron should actually go down. So that's why I want to reverse this. So when I reverse channel one here, if I, roll, if I want to roll to the left, the aileron goes down. If I want to roll to the right, the aileron goes up. And so I'm going to press and hold cancel to save it. Now that I've reversed channel one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here to aux channels. There's aux channels right there. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to, uh, let's see, we want channel seven. Press OK to scroll down to channel seven. And then I'm going to uh, use the down key 
so that the source will be channel or will be switch C and switch C is going to be this three position switch right here because you have A, B, C and D. So I'm going to set it to switch C. And the reason why I'm using channel seven, you could use different, you could use any channel that you're not currently using. I'm just using channel seven as an example. And because this is a six channel receiver, we're not using up any physical servo ports in case we wanted to, to use one. Now you'll notice that on the aux channels here, you have channel five is set to variable A and channel six is set to variable B. And that's going to be these knobs right here. But we actually don't want that uh, because we don't want the servo controlled by any other switch. We're just going to set this to none. There we go. So the up arrow all the way to none. And that's what you want. And I'm going to press, I'm going to press and hold cancel to save it. And then of course, you know, you'll have, you'll be doing all kinds of other setup stuff for a normal model setup, but this is just the uh, flapper on part. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the next screen here, scroll down to mixes. We have three mixes and we, we scroll through these different options by using the up and down keys. Now what I'm going to do for mix one is I'm going to make it so that we have normal aileron control because right now I can control this aileron and the servo, but other servo that I have in channel five, just nothing's happening because it's just kind of sitting there. We're going to make it so that channel one is controlling channel five or channel five moves in relation to channel one. So the, what we're going to do is have the master be channel one and then the slave, we're going to scroll up and make that channel five or whatever channel the other aileron servo is on if, if you're not using channel five. And then we're going to uh, go down here to positive mix and we're going to make that, we're going to make it negative 100. Now we're going to select uh, negative mix here and we're going to set that to negative 100. And then for the offset, we're just going to leave it at zero because uh, we want the ailerons to, to, to really have the same movement. So when you're mixing with the radio, you just keep in mind that you might have to make small changes to make sure that the physical movement of your ailerons match, because that's, that's what's most important and not what the numbers say in here. So now let's, uh, let's, let's scroll through here again and, and turn this mix on and check it. So what we should have, we should have full movement on this aileron here. What we want here is the ailerons to work opposite of each other. So we want the movement to be in opposite directions. So you can see if I roll to the left on my, on my right stick here, we have this side is going up and this side is going down. And then if I roll to the right, we have the left side moving downward and the right side moving upward. Great, so now at this point we have basically regular ailerons, which is super duper, but we want flapperons. So what we're gonna do is, uh, before we go any farther, let's just press and hold cancel to make sure that we save this. And you can see that mix one is just the way we left it. Now let's go to mix two. What we're gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn mix on right now because this will make it easier we want to have the master be channel seven which is our, our switch and then we want the slave to be channel one okay and that's going to be our servo on the right here the, the servo that's connected to the channel one slot what we're going to do and you can play around with this but we're going to set the positive mix to negative 40 And of course, you can change these numbers depending on how much deflection you want, and you can kind of play around with it. But what this is going to do is actually give us uh, two position flaps, which is, is kind of cool. So we're going to set this also to negative 40. And then we're going to go to the bottom here to the offset, and we're actually going to put this at uh, negative 15. And you can, you can see that this control surface has been moving as I change different settings here. So let's just test this out. So what we should have is zero flaps, first notch of flaps, and then third notch of flaps. And that's what we have here. So the most important position here is going to be when the when you have zero flaps, because you want to make sure that your ailerons are in their normal position. And so you're going to do that by changing the offset. 
in this case. So if I if I adjust the offset, let me see if I can kind of give you a better angle here. If we adjust the offset here, up or down, you can see that the aileron is changing position. So it's it's going to be more or less. Let me give it to you like this. Let me show you here. So we're going to change the offset here and you can see it moving. And that's going to that's going to be your zero flaps position, so your normal flight position. So so use the offset to change your aileron to uh, to whatever you know whatever your, makes your plane fly normal, and then with the switches, let me show you the switches. So we have uh, flaps uh, one and then flaps two, and you can adjust that. And the, the best way to do it is when you are in whatever position you're in. So say you want to say you want more flaps. Let's say you want to have like a lot of flaps when you put the flaps all the way down. Just uh, again, if your setup is different from mine, just kind of play with it. But uh, let's see, we should be the positive right here. So you can see when I change the positive mix, it's actually making the servo move and I'm getting, it's actually just about close to full, uh, full deflection right there. So you can see that right now I have for the positive mix, it was negative 40 and now it's actually negative 59. So the best way to do it is to just leave the switch in whatever position that you would want it to be like if you want it full flaps and then just see which setting here causes it to move in the direction that you want and that's how you're going to uh, change the deflection now let's do the same thing but on mix two or mix three on the mix three let's turn it on and we'll say the master is going to be channel seven and the slave is going to be channel five and that was actually my uh my motor right there um, because channel seven was actually turned on. So be sure to take your propeller off when you're doing this. Master channel seven, slave channel five. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do positive mix, negative 40. Negative mix again, we're gonna go to negative 40. So you notice that if I don't change the offset, you can see that if I don't change the offset, if the offset is zero, it actually has a lot of upward Kind of deflection that's just what part of what i had to do in in order to get two position flaps on the switch the way it is so now we're going to bring down the offset to negative 15 and that's going to take off that upward angle of that upward deflection and it should bring the aileron to standard position so again depending on how your airplane is set up your offset and your positive and negative mixes here the numbers the percentages are going to be different but this is just to kind of give you an idea so that you can kind of start out with it and then kind of play around to get it just right and once we have our mixes just the way we want them we are going to press and hold cancel now let's just do a little check if we want to roll to the left our left aileron goes up and our right aileron goes down if we want to roll to the right the opposite happens, the right side goes up, the left side goes down, and then some flaps. We'll do one position of flaps, but we can still use them just like normal ailerons. And then full flaps, and we can still use them. You can see that there's not as much movement. Once you get to a certain point with the servo travel, there's just not, there's not, not a whole lot of ways to go aside from just full down and then, you know, about neutral position. Looks like they're working good. By the way, just a little side note, what you could do is set channel seven to variable A or, or variable B, one of these little knobs. And then you'd actually have um, sort of, you know, sort of infinitely adjustable uh, flaps. But I don't think that's a great idea because I think it's harder to reach the knobs while you're actually flying. You can't disengage them as well. And I feel like you're more likely to forget to take them out because they're on the knob and then also there's no detents in the knobs, so you can't really tell what actual position you are without actually looking at the knob. So I would just keep it on the three position switch personally. All right, that does it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, if you have some questions about how to get this thing working uh, with your airplane, leave a comment, or if you wanna be sure that I'll uh, get your questions, send it to rcwithadam at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.